Cheesecake's good, yes. Uh, what happened with Christina's surgery? Hey. Cheesecake's good, yes. Uh, what happened with Christina's surgery? Are you asking as my colleague, or are you asking as my brother who second guesses everything She's my I patient do? and I'm concerned. Tell me. You know what, actually, that was a rhetorical question. I'm surprised you didn't storm into the OR wanting to start a war over a little girl who has a fractured C7 vertebrae. What do you mean, fractured vertebrae? What the hell did you do? There was no indication on Christina's scans of a fracture. So how did you handle it? I had to think on my feet and rely on my instincts, which is something that our father actually used to do. Not that I knew him okay, in his heyday. Okay, we're not talking about him. We're talking about Christina. If there was a fracture, that means it probably came from the car explosion, which means it went undetected for a year. You can't just go in there and fix that directly. Oh, Chad, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh, wait. That's right, because I did think of that. And that's exactly why I performed an oblique facet wiring right. technique. So now there's swelling. So we're not going to know if there's damage to the spinal cord until that goes down. I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that little note of hope in your voice that my patient is paralyzed. Dr. Quartermain, 3405. Dr. Monica Quartermain, call 3405. You need to leave. I have an injury. I want you out of my hospital. Your hospital. There you go again, Dr. Dre. Does that give you authority to turn patients away? Because I got a great lawyer. Maybe you've heard of her. Angela Dwyer. These medical malpractice damages can run into the millions. Okay. How about I uh, put you on the list? People die in hospitals waiting for treatment. Then sit. Wait. We'll get to you when we get to you. I need to see the doctor today. If Christina doesn't want her mother here, maybe we could get her father. He's the last person that I want. Yeah, um, look, I'm gonna go try and find mom. I'm gonna try and find her mother. Thank you. Well, as long as we're calling people, shouldn't we wait for Patrick? I mean, he's Patrick the one who was did... pulled off the case. I was the one who did your procedure. And nobody bothered to tell me. Patrick had just gotten out of eight hours of surgery, and the chief of staff knew that I could be more effective. I guess it's too late to argue about it now. Hmm. Yeah. Well, as soon as your mother gets here, we'll discuss we're the not details. waiting for my mom. You're going to treat me like the adult that I am. Tell me what you did and how soon I'll recover. You presented with a fracture of the articular process of the C7 vertebrae. You didn't show up on your scans. That's why I performed an oblique facet wiring technique that was Dr. effectively Dr. going to stabilize. I think we should wait for. Uh, okay, I've already told Matt that, that I'm an adult. Christine I... is an adult. I'm her surgeon. You don't need to be here. Well, I'm going to stay here, anyways. Of course, if that's okay with you. She's going to perform some tests so we can see where she was in the recovery process. Do you mean if the surgery worked or not? It's for sensation. And at first you don't feel it, that's okay. It's just some residual nerve block from surgery, okay? Should I be doing something? You can look to the side. So I can't see what foot you're testing? <laughs> yes, and no cheating. <laughs> Dr. Leo Julian, to OR. Left foot, I can feel it. Okay. Aren't you guys going to do the right foot? I can't feel it. What's wrong? Why can't I feel it? 